Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad. And welcome. To Celeste. One of my favorite games of all time. It is amazing. And I would highly recommend actually playing through the game yourself without actually watching this right now. If you have not done so already because Having your own experience of this game is what really, I don't know, it's a really good thing for the, for this game, is to have your own experience before actually watching somebody else. But if you can't, then watching somebody else is still pretty good, so here we go. Let's begin. This is it, Madeline. Just breathe. Why are you so nervous? So I can move around with the left stick and we can press think B to jump. Yeah. Can move around like this. And be careful not to get crushed by that bit of ice if that falls down. And now, if we hold ZL or ZR, we can actually cling onto walls. We can actually just do that by jumping onto it, and then we can actually climb up for a bit. But if we stay on a wall too long, we actually... Hang on. We run out of stamina and we actually slide down the wall. So we actually can't stay on a wall forever. Thank you to that crow for teaching us how to do that. Excuse me, ma'am. The sign out front set is busted. Is this mountain the mountain trail? Ah, oh, you're almost there. It's just across the bridge. By the way, you should call someone about your driveway. The ridge collapsed and I nearly died. If my driveway almost did you in, the mountain might be a bit much for you. Well, if it's if an old bat like you can survive out there, I think I'll be fine. Suit yourself. But you should know that Celeste Mountain is a strange place. You might see things. Things you aren't ready to see. You should seek help, lady. The time slows down for us. And this crow thing tells us to press Y and hold a direction to dash, which allows us to have a double jump. You can do this. Let's go to the next level, the Forsaken City. To Madeline. Select save and quit from the pause menu at any time to take a break. You'll resume from the la from the same screen and you won't lose any progress. Very useful to know if you want to leave the game and come back, because you will probably at some point want to do that. This game is beautiful. It has great music, has a great story, it's got it's just really good. I cannot express just how much I love this game. But anyway, now we have a double jump, which we've had probably the whole time, but we don't think we could use it until now. Whenever we use it, we can only, um, we can't do it again, so we have to wait until we touch the ground with our feet, specifically, to make our hair go back to the regular color instead of being light blue. And then we can do it again. And there are a few exceptions to that which we'll find as we go through the game. But for now, let's keep climbing up. Platforms like this one here are a... You can't go back down through it. 
the only way to get onto this platform is by going from underneath it on, onto it. So we can't go down from here. But now we have a springboard here, which is nice, because it means we can grab this uh, strawberry, which is the main collectible of the game. So we're going to be trying collecting, try and collect as many of those as we possibly can. Which, to note down, because if we want to collect strawberries, some strawberries are behind invisible walls, basically. Also, if we die to anything in one hit, we go back to the start of the room that we're in, or possibly a checkpoint if there is any. But usually that's just the beginning of the room. So let's grab that if we can. You can also, I believe, fall back down. No, you can't. Okay. Worth a shot. Man, this is such a great game, and I'm so glad to be playing it again. The music is making me very happy. I feel like if I get underneath there, I might be able to find a secret. Although I might be wrong about that. It's been a little bit since I last played through this game. But I love how quick it is to respawn. So you don't have to worry about... Oh, don't have to worry about um, dying too much because you have infinite lives. You might as well get used to living, I guess. Oh, no, nothing there. Cool. I believe you can also... Uh, pause and retry to just respawn yourself if you need to. Faster, there's also the save and quit and all that. But we have the restart chapter and return to map, which we're probably not going to use. So let's just continue for now. I'm going to try and listen to this music as much as possible because it is amazing. <laughs> we can also just press down to like hold ourselves in a crouch, except I don't think that's ever useful. Now, these signs are actually telling us something about this strawberry up here which has wings on it. We are not allowed to dash when a strawberry has wings. Otherwise, the strawberry will run away. So we need to actually get up to the strawberry without dashing. You can dash at the last second to grab it, but you have to make sure that you don't do it in a way that it escapes. Usually by flying up, so. And that's actually going to be very interesting later on when we actually have to make it try to run away from us and catch it that, like that. Anyway. Let's go up here. Be very careful. You can also hold down to fall faster if you need to. And you'll see by the... By Madeline being a lot more thin than she normally is. Oh, I don't think there's anything up there, but anyway, it was worth checking. Now, we can use momentum off of this, this platform to launch ourselves up a little bit, which is pretty cool. Pun intended? No, not really, but anyway. Since everything is cool in this mountain. Anyway, we can see that this block over here has a crack in it, so let's dash into that to break that, and let's go over here to get this strawberry. Oh boy. Nice. Very nice. Now we can just... Oh, careful. We can just careful. Go up here. I don't think there's any secret paths here, but that's worth checking. Again, highly recommend playing this game by yourself for your first time if you need to. Okay, this crystal over here, if we touch it, actually gives us a second... It gives us our boost back. It doesn't increase the amount of boost that we have, it just gives it back to us if we don't have it, so... It's very useful. But it looks like we found a friend out here. Ho oh there, fellow traveler. Oh, hi. What a killer night for a hike. I guess so. This place is so scary. This place is so crazy. I kind of can't believe it exists. Not the easiest climb, is it? But I guess that's what I was looking for. Well, that sounds pretty serious. I'm just happy to see another human in such a lonely place. I'm Theo, by the way. An adventurer from a far-off land. Not much of a talker, are you? Mysterious lone wolf type? I get it. I'll just imagine some dark backstory for you. Hey, sorry. I'm Madeline. I've got a lot on my mind. Well, Madeline, I'd say you've come to the right place. 
I'm freezing my toes off, but I can't imagine a better place to be for some quiet reflection. Yeah, maybe you're right. What far off land do you hail from? Well, my inquisitive compatriot, I doth hail from the mystical exotic kingdom of Seattle. It sounds like a special place. This place is wild. Why would an entire city be abandoned? I read that some mega corporation started building it, but then no one wanted to live here. I wonder why. My money's on a government cover-up. What a waste to build all of this for no reason. At least we get to enjoy the leftovers. Are you here to explore this city? Yeah, I have a thing for abandoned places. And I like to think of myself as a uh, budding photographer. Oh really? Cool. Do you have a blog or something? A blog? Madeline. Everyone uses Instapix now. I'm Theo under stars. Look me up. This terrain is pretty tricky. Are you turning back soon? Nope, I'm heading for the summit. I can really see the determination in your eyes. It's inspiring. If you say so. I bet you could make it to the summit too. Maybe. I don't really care about reaching the top, to be H. Oh, but I heard there are some legit old ruins up beyond the city. Like, 1800s legit. I know it's risky, but I have to see them for myself. What's that thing you uh, say right before you do something irresponsible? Uh, throw caution to the wind? No, that's not it. Oh, right. YOLO! And that's all he has to say at the moment. Let's have a look around here before we move on. I think there's something around here that will come past here again, so... Let's go up for now. Be careful of that, because that spring's just gonna send you right into spikes. Okay. Oh, that was close, but it worked out somehow. And this platform here just breaks, so we can go down, but we can only go down through that, so... But anyway, let's keep on our journey. Okay, just gonna dash through there. Dash through there, and I think we can break that wall there to get this strawberry here. Okay, can we go up? No. Ooh, okay. Nearly had a bit of trouble there, but we're alright. We're getting through this. Usually each level is split up into four sections, which are split apart with, um... Split apart by, um... What's the word? I can't think. Also, I think I need to go back, which is fine. They're split apart by the auto saves, and we can also actually just dash... Oh, I don't know if that's gonna work though, not all the way. But I think if I play my cards right... No? Okay. Maybe there's just another way. There's probably another way. Like, up here, and there we go, to get over here. But we can go between screens to actually gain height, which is interesting. Okay, that's the way back, so let's go up here. And then wait for that. Okay. Just keep going. Okay. And now this might actually be worth having a notepad for over here. We get a strawberry, but there's also this thing here, which is flashing all different colors, and these birds are going in different directions. So I think I actually had a note for this somewhere. White, purple, blue, red, purple, yellow. Okay, so now we take the directions of the birds. Which is white equals up, 
Hang on, I have to wait every time to make sure I get this right. Uh, purple is that way. I think yellow is uh, left up. I'm just going to rep represent those by arrows. Red is top right. And blue is down right. Okay, so that means we need to do up, left, uh, hang on, up, left, down, left, right, down, right, hang on, gotta start again, up, left, down, right, and then up, right, uh, left, and then up left. I think if I've done this correctly, I should be able to get this. Okay, so dash up, dash left, dash down. Nope, didn't get it. Went directly down. Hang on. Nope, I fell off and died. That's not what you want. Okay, let's try this again. Up, left, down right, uh, up right, left, and then up left. And for that, the message stops and the birds d turn into this, and we get a heart for pointless machines. These are a second collectible that is found throughout the game. And I'm going to try and get those as well, but I don't remember if I have ever got them all. I don't think I have. And there are different ways to get them too. All of them being different and pretty difficult at that, so. So anyway, let's keep going down the regular path. Trying to get all the secrets along the way. Okay. This looks interesting. Let me try going up for this to start off. Which I think... Hang on, there's also this up here. I don't know if I should keep going up though, so let me go down first. Grab the strawberry. Double dash back to the surface. Okay. Because the strawberries only get collected if you actually land on the ground with your feet, so... It's like, um, getting a dash back. So... That's important. I feel like I'm going the right, wrong way. And it's concerning because I don't think I want to be here. Not yet, at the very least. So let me head back d <clears throat> Let me head back down. That's interesting. Hopefully there's no secrets in that room that I missed. But anyway, I should be fine. Okay. And hopefully by going this way... I won't miss anything else. Actually, I might have missed some stuff. This doesn't go back, does it? Nope, that's fine. What I can do, though, is go down here. That's a very small gap to go down, but... Still. Try not to get crushed by these platforms. And grab this strawberry. Oh, please go up. Thank you. Just bounce up through the spikes. You can actually go up through spikes, which is interesting. Okay, how do we do this one? Like that, I guess. That was simple enough. I don't think there's any secrets if I go up here, right? Yeah, okay. Let's head back down. Let's keep going. I think I should have gone the other way to get more thing. Which is a shame, because I don't think I can really go back now. Hang on. Oh, that was dangerously close to death several times there. But we're okay, and we're out of here. Yeah, this is a point of no return, I think. Because the thing here is a platform that I can't go through. Okay, that was very close. But I got the strawberry, so that's what counts. And we're at a save point, so this is a checkpoint. Which is pretty good. Now, let's see if we can get that strawberry there. Not quite. Ooh, don't fall, please. Okay, that's fine. Dying is fine. Hang on, I'm over here now. That's also fine, because I can actually... 
possibly do a better job of getting up there like that. Okay. Oh boy, this is going all over the place. Let me go... This way. They're going around that. Okay, let's head on up. And look around. Okay, I see that as well, so I'm gonna grab that and then go around it. Because this is another collectible. This is a lot like the, um, the blocks in Super Mario Galaxy. I think it's Galaxy 2, though, that has these types of blocks where they change every two ticks. Oh my goodness. But anyway, we just need to get over to here and we get this cassette tape for the B-side. These are like reverse versions, except not quite. They're very different. They're harder versions of the levels you go through, basically. But anyway, we get sent back over here and that gets turned off. And now let's see what else we can get over here before we leave. Grab that strawberry. Now, what's over this way? Okay. Be very careful. And get this strawberry right on the edge. Yeah, I missed something in that other place when I decided to go back. That's a shame. We'll probably come back through here to get anything I miss in the future. Let's go up here, though. Although I feel like this is also the way to go. Just based on experience. Yeah, this is optional. Because it doesn't connect to anything. Got that. Without dashing. Because it had wings on it, otherwise it would have it would have flown away if I dashed. Okay. Also, I might be making this look easy because I've had played through the game before, but it's really difficult when you've on your first time, so. Oh no, should have waited. I should have waited. That's an easy trap. Okay, let's head on up. Again, can't go back from this point. A lot of blocks to break over here, but I think we can go through this wall. We can get this strawberry. Probably want to start from the top. Diagonal jumps are very useful. Or, yes, di diagonal. I have to remember the names of things. Should have rid rode on that block as well, down. But I decided to fall in between the crack and it somehow worked out. Okay. Very nice. That was amazing, actually. You can also hold on to, like, the underside. If you're hanging underneath it, you can actually just dash through the underside of something you're holding on to, so that's useful as well. And here we are, at the end. Celeste Mountain. This memorial dedicated to those who perished on the climb. Moment of silence. Ah, oh, I'm exhausted. This might have been a mistake. Chapter complete. So now we see how many strawberries we've got out of the total. Of course I missed one. And it also shows us how many times we died. So there we go. And we've unlocked the next level. But that is it for now. So thank you all for watching. And I'll see you all next time for the continuation.